Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, also known as Tubal Kane, and you are watching episode number 92B, the answer portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. I cannot believe how many people knew what these items were. I really thought that I had rather obscure items, but wrong. Go If you haven't watched part A, go through there, and there's just some great comments in there. And of course, what this is, is a telephone dial from... General Tell, that's not my old phone number. I must have bought this at a garage sale, I suppose. And you younger guys probably have never used a rotary dial because even if you're in your 60s, you probably had touch tone rather than this. But it's right, quite a complicated mechanism. And about half of everybody knew what this was. And what I didn't realize when I let go of that, you can hear the sound of the dial. I can't hear it, but you can hear it. And I wanted to make special point of the little uh, governor here, which nobody seemed to care about. I have an obsession with governors, and I guess nobody else does. And these were made by Automatic Electric. They were the, I believe, the sub subsidiary of Gentel, kind of like Western Electric was to the Bell Telephone system. But Again, refer to the comments by knowledgeable people that talked about impulses and all that kind of stuff that I really do not understand, but this is an antique. It's probably at least 70 years old. And this little device was given to me again by Terry Kirkpatrick up in Alumatank. Thank you, Terry. And I can't believe how many people knew what this was. I was really surprised. I, I thought this was much more obscure. But it is to use on diesel engines, truck engines, to start them in the winter. So you simply put an ether capsule or an ether bomb in there. Close the cap and that pierces the little gel capsule. And that is injected into the carburetor. Just kidding, I know there's no carburetor on a diesel. It goes into the air intake. It gives a little shot of ether. And I believe Terry told me that they were they had Hendrickson trucks back then. I don't know what kind of engine they used. But let me show you some pictures. I don't think you could buy these capsules anymore. But I found some pictures of this, the way they sold it. Chevron Oil Company was the maker, I believe. And they just used a Gitz oiler. So they didn't have to manufacture it from scratch. So let's take a look at those pictures. So here's a picture of the can which would seal the little ether bombs. They look like a big pill. I'm sure these are illegal now or dangerous or somebody would want to swallow them or do something crazy with them. And that's what they look like on the card at the truck stop. Three dollars and fifty cents plus the capsules themselves. If you want to see more pictures just do a search for ether bombs, ether capsules. Well that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve it and I'll see you next time. This was number 92. That means there's over 180 videos in this series. Go back and watch them. In the video description below I will leave a link to the playlist if you want to, if you've got the nerve to watch all of those. See you next time.